Hi, everybody. It's Barbara Mifsad here, and I'm your regional membership officer from the South Pacific and Philippines office in Parramatta. So it's really lovely to be here with you. Thanks, Caro, for the opportunity to speak to you today about a couple of key membership themes. And firstly, I wanted to say happy membership and new club development month. So August is a special time for us to think about and celebrate Rotary's greatest assets, which is you, our members. So I wanted to say thank you for all that you do and for everything that you are going to do throughout the year. Before chatting about those key membership themes, I thought to give some background about my role. So I work as the Regional Membership Officer for Zone 8 at the Rotary International Office in Parramatta, Australia. So that's the South Pacific and Philippines office. And that means I'm a Rotary International staff contact for membership issues. And I assist clubs and districts in Australia, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. And this is a relatively new role. It was rolled out in the Parramatta office about a year ago, uh, even though I have been working in the office for quite a while. And I'm part of a global membership development team at Rotary International that has over 20 staff. And there are five other regional membership officers that are doing the same role that I do. But we've also got specialist staff that are working on research, on resources, and also reporting. So Rotary International really is working hard to make sure that there is help out there for clubs and districts to assist with Rotary's biggest internal priority, which is membership. So a little bit about what I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I provide assistance in three main areas and firstly, strategy. So I could provide advice on things like attraction and retention, as well as new club development. And for example, I provided advice to the club and district when they were developing the Gold Coast Passport Club recently. So we chatted about what a passport club was and how it could be run, how, how we could tailor it for their needs. Secondly, I help out with reports and data. And at the moment, I'm working with a couple of clubs who are trying to pinpoint some areas for improvement. And running historical data can really help with that. For example, you might discover that attraction isn't really the problem, it's retention. And you might want to look at the reasons why people have left and, and to focus on that. And, and there are reports uh, about that. Thirdly, I help with resources. So that's recommending Rotary International resources based on your interests and your needs. And there are a whole load of RI resources that are, uh, that are coming out at the moment. The other thing I try to do is to collect strategies and success stories to share with other clubs and districts through the various Rotary channels. Besides working with the clubs, I also work with Rotary coordinators and they're Rotarians that are specialising in membership at the zone level and, and they are Tim Moore and, and Adrian Roach. I also work with the assistant Rotary coordinators and district membership chairs. I guess what I mean to say is, is that there is a whole team of capable and experienced people that are there to, to help you out. So that leads me to two important themes about membership. And the first one is you really can't create a village by yourself. I mean, sure, membership really is everybody's responsibility, but you do need a capable team of people to, to develop membership. And President Mark Maloney is urging every club to not only elect a membership chair, so one person focusing on membership, but a membership committee. And the role of the membership committee is to come up with an Im and implement a membership plan, and that's to attract and engage members. And they need to do this methodically by identifying leaders in the community with skills and talents that's going to strengthen your club. And an effective committee should also reflect the diversity of your club and your community and promote continuity from one year to the next. Secondly, you do need to have a plan. And President Mark Maloney is urging us to grow Rotary, but he also realises that we just can't do that by just asking our friends and our, and our acquaintances to become members. 
we need to be methodical and structured in our approach. And I really like what he says. He says, instead of asking who you know, ask who are we missing? So we need to look for gaps in those skills and, and in the demographics and, and also the way of thinking. So he's talking about diversity here as well. And clubs can take assessments such as a diversity assessment or a classification assessment to see where some of those, those uh, gaps lie. So you need to evaluate your club Focus on those steps that you can take to address, you know, the toughest issues that you have, but also to capitalise on the biggest opportunities that there are and develop a membership plan and then stick to it. Do realise that thinking about membership can be a little bit daunting, but if you have a team and you have a plan and you stick to it, you're really setting yourself up for success. And as I mentioned, there are a whole team of people that you can call on who will be there to, to help you and also to cheer you on from the sidelines. If you've got any pressing membership issues that you need to discuss, I'm happy to have a chat with you. I'm also happy to talk to you about resources that you might like to use. And I'd also love to hear about some of the success stories that you have and some of the initiatives that you're undertaking. I look forward to hearing from you.